Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super chic and affordable DIY out of a hula hoop, pool noodle, and clipboards. Let's get started. Now we're going to go ahead and begin our hula hoop so that we can use them for the base of our enemies. I've already unwrapped this one and I'm getting ready to take the cover off of this one. So let's go ahead and get started. done with the hula hoops and wrapping them and taking the liners off we're going to go ahead and get started with our clip cards we're going to be using this as the base of our centerpiece so you don't need to worry about the sticker that is going to be here because that's going to be put on the inside what we want to do is remove this top piece here and we're just going to do it with a basic butter knife just keep the serrated section away from you and what we're going to do is slip it very gently under Starting from the top, it usually works easier that way. And top it up. Like so. And now you have the clipboard with the remove piece. Now let's do this for the next one as well. Now that this piece is done, we are going to glue them together with some wood glue. And like I said before, don't worry about the stickers because they are going to be on the inside and we're putting them together like this. And it would be basically making a board about this size and that'll serve as the base for our centerpiece. And once we're done with this, we will begin with our spray paint and really start bringing things together. apply the glue like so and now we're going to take it and begin just placing it directly on top of the other push very firmly on it get it aligned and that way we'll be good to go and once we're done we're going to take this outside and begin to spray it I brought my hula hoops and my clipboards outside so I could spray them. I laid out some boxes as a tarp to protect the ground. And once these are all sprayed, I'm just going to lay them out and allow them to dry. Now that we are done spray painting our hula hoops as well as our clipboards as painted on both sides, we use the other side as the surface for the base. All right, so we have our one and a quarter inch screws, our drill, and I have a wooden block now. Since I'm going to be drilling on top of my kitchen counter and I don't want to mess it up. And basically what you're going to do is center the clipboard in the middle. And then we're going to take one of the hula hoops. Try to find the spot where I want to center it. See if there's a better side. Here should be good. And then find the spot where you want to put it in the middle of your clipboard and I think I want to screw it here. So now I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to take my drill and drill it down.
now we're just gonna cut this in half. So don't cut all the way through, just cut through that first layer so that your knife is sticking out where the hole is. And cut like that throughout the entire side, but be careful not to cut through the whole thing. So you're gonna need to seal it back and attach it to the glue. should look like this. You should be able to open it up, but it should still be sealed on the other side so nothing passed through. So while I get ready to do the second piece, I'm gonna plug my glue gun up so it can already be warming. And that way by the time I'm done cutting, I can begin gluing it together. Okay, and again, we're just gonna take our knife and cut through this top layer, but not through the second one. So slightly across the top. And it's foam, so it should be pretty easy. Again, we have a second piece of foam cut. So now that we have our two pieces of foam cut, we have one cut in 16 inches and one cut in 21 inches. We're going to begin attaching it to the glue. So, spring this over and now you can attach it to the front or to the back hoop whatever you would prefer and basically just line it up and put the hula hoop inside the pool wheel so that it looks like this and then you can adjust where you would like to have it I'm gonna put mine across from each other Once my glue gun is warmed up, then I will glue the lines that I just cut into the pool noodle just so that they stay sealed and we don't have any issues. But this is basically where the flowers are gonna go. And once they're sealed, we'll begin entering flowers and we'll begin building out the center.
So basically, Dollar Tree has these hanging boards for $1. Um, I can only find the one, so I grabbed this one. But what you can do with it is, I bought some ribbon from Dollar Tree also. And I'm gonna hang it on this back hoop. You can hang it on either one. Um, and just hang it here to whatever height you think is best for your own personal preference. I'm gonna say about here. And I'm going to just tie it for the time being because I'm not actually leaving mine on. But you guys who do decide to do this stuff, if you actually like to fix it permanently, I would suggest like a dab of hot glue or E6000, just something where you don't have to worry about the hold loosening. This is about the height that I'm going for. So now that I have it properly adjusted, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that through. And like I said, I don't want it too secure because for my purposes, this isn't actually staying. I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was really cool. And you could do it like I'm doing it using a ribbon, or you could try to do like something fancier and use a crystal string aiding that you could find just to fix it here. Um, and now I'm just gonna place a little tea light inside and you can go ahead and look at it. And I would suggest adding about two more of these if you could find them and just seem like a staggering effect for some layering and just some extra drama for your tables. But this is it, this is the finished look. Uh, fairly inexpensive, this cost me about 35 to $40. Uh, $30 went to the flowers. Um, they were each a dollar each. I got them from Dollar Tree, so fairly inexpensive. The hanging board was $1. Um, the two clipboards that I used for the base were $1 each, and the hula hoops were about $2 each. I got those from Walmart, actually. So, really, you only need to stop at two stores to complete this look Walmart and Dollar Tree, and this should be it. It took me about three hours to finish, but I love the way it turned out. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time.